So we're back from our quick break uh, to continue with the last of this. Um, I think we've got I've got three films left. These guys have four. For the sinking, hello Valerius. Hello. Uh, Jade Williams. Hello. Hello. So whose turn was it? Jade. Me. Okay, go for it, Jade. What was your next film? Austin Powers. Austin Powers. Oh, nice. That's good. the um. The first one. Well, I'm not. I like all of them most. <laughs> so your, your entry is the Austin Powers trilogy. Yes. <laughs> okay. Love all the Austin Powers. What 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 do you like about Austin Powers, Jade? I love the humor and just the quirky lines that come out. Yeah. It's think, just so good. I think at the time, Mike Myers was pretty much on top of on top of sure. the game. What? Catch this. Uh, what is it? A butt plug. A solar flare. Shiny. Yeah, I think Mike Myers was pretty much on the top of his game at that point. Um, it's one of the most creative characters he's done. It's sort of a pity it got spoiled by having too many sequels. Yeah, there was a lot of sequels. There was a I lot. Didn't, I didn't think much of the third one. Holy shit. Oh, that one. Wow. oh my god. You ran Water? into me. <laughs> I was holding a lantern and he ran into me. What is that? <laughs> it's a lantern. So we can oh, see. Oh, so we can see dark areas. Oh, there's another mm. freaking gun. Oh god, get away from Sharon. Um, <laughs> Austin Powers, where is? Uh, it was very good. I enjoyed every single one. <coughs> yeah, I didn't. No, I didn't I enjoy did. the third one at all. But the first one, the second the one was okay. One. But the first one was fucking fantastic. Was the and third some... one with the dad? I can't remember. Yeah, yeah, it was. Daddy wasn't there. The, that um... was gold member. Oh. Yeah, the gold member. I like gold. I like gold. The thing about the first one is it, it has, it's aged very well. You can still go back and watch it and it's still funny. The the jokes are still hilarious. Like the um, the car, turning around the car in that little tight space. Yeah. yeah. That is a good joke. That is a joke that still makes me chuckle when I see it. And the fembot. The fembots were good. <laughs> and, you know... The whole character, the whole sort of character acting of uh, you know being Austin Powers rather than just Mike Myers, because like before that, he didn't like Wayne's World, um, yeah. and what was it the one he did before it? I, I can't remember. I was just thinking. We had a discussion about this recently about the um, the way Austin Powers looks as well. Yeah, the look was very good because he was obviously meant to be unfrozen. And and having uh, Liz Hurley to sort of play the straight man opposite it was a bit weird, mm. but it worked. It was very odd. He did that weird film afterwards that I Where's never liked. Where's the bucket dispenser? Right here next to me. <laughs> oh, there it is. Cheers. Uh, yeah, no, I liked it. I liked it. I liked Austin Powers a lot, and I think um, the, the, also the fact that he played multiple characters was good. Um, yeah, he did play multiple characters. That can be quite hard to pull off, and when an actor does that well, it's good. Like, uh, me, you know, what was the Clumps one? No, Professor, where Eddie Murphy did the same thing, played a whole bunch of characters. Yeah. Sorry, I was, I'm struggling with this fucking bucket somehow. Pretty amazing. <laughs> uh, Jim Carrey did that, didn't he? In that series of unfortunate events. Like, oh god, I should have put that in mind. Ah, oh, yeah. I've sort of. I remember seeing that. I thought it was a bit weird. I don't think I really got it. It was basically. It was everyone. And yeah. yet it was actually only one person. That, like, old oh, guy. Weird. That's confusing. Yeah. It was really good, though. That was a, that was a weird film. Um, okay. Austin Powers. Yeah, I liked it. I liked it. And I liked it because it had um, Seth Green in as well, who is like, again, was sort of just becoming well known and stuff. You know what I mean? I think this was before probably Robot Chicken. Uh, I'd seen him in Buffy playing Oz the Werewolf. Um, this one's that, Buffy. That, no, we're <laughs> all using one bucket. <laughs> I'm just using whatever buckets you're supplying, man. Uh, yeah, I th uh, so he, he was quite good in it as well. I, I quite liked him. And they had Will Ferrell in there as well, playing uh, Mustafa. He was good. Mufasa. No, Mustafa, not Mufasa. <laughs> Mufasa. <laughs> Always the Mufasa. Mufasa. There we go. Yeah, I, and again, it, there was some good jokes in there. Like the, some Will Ferrell's lines just don't get old with the. Uh, 
I'm not dead, I'm just very badly burnt. Yeah. 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 That's, that's still Fuck's good. Sake, these buckets. If anyone oh, can start burning it. these buckets, we are getting a maximum yeah, load. Sure. Oh, oh my god. Wrong button. <laughs> I was just um, bending out the medical things and putting them in place because you have to get I'll, them. I'll burn things because why, why not? <laughs> I'm not dead. <laughs> just burn. <laughs> Do you do that as well? That's the, uh, the other good thing I like about Austin Powers is um, I like films that have quotable lines in films that you can just quote, like um, Monty Python and um, <laughs> Monty Python. Jane Silent Oh Bob my god, I should have put back. down. Yeah, stuff like that. I like I, I like films where you can just like throw out a quote and people know what yeah. it's like. No, Sharon. Who does number two work for? No. Stuff like that. Who Sharon, does number Sharon, two no. work for? Sharon, that bucket is clean. I just took it out. <laughs> what? Literally <laughs> washing my mop in it. <laughs> I'll just oh put this God. torso what? instead. I didn't, I didn't do that it. That wasn't me. Lag. 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 all fired. <laughs> oh, this man just exploded. I picked him so, up yeah. and he exploded. Back to Austin Powers temporarily. The joke that yeah. me and you really enjoyed, though, which gets done in a lot of films now, and we do it a lot as well, like just throw each other for a laugh. The evacuation complete joke. Yeah. Yeah. When he first comes out of cryo sleep and he goes for a pee, uh, and he, the, the computer goes, evacuation yeah. complete, and then he just continues peeing, and that goes on <laughs> for about five minutes, and it's fucking hilarious. Who's throwing bodies? Uh, not me. Nope. I'm putting things in the One of you two just threw a body at the water dispenser, knocking over Jade. two buckets. What? <laughs> Ages clean this, and now the oh, fucking these, water dispenser legs needs to in the floor. So, I know, I couldn't pick them up, and it was irritating me. I think I got them in the burner, it's okay. <laughs> okay, so my, my next one. one. Yeah. Oh. Ace Ventura, When Nature Calls. Oh yes. yes! Thank you. One of my favourite films ever. I like it's both the Ace and Jaws, but that one is just oh so See, brilliant. I I like this way better than Ace Ventura One. I think this is one of the examples of where the sequel outshines the original. And again, it's it's the quotability of it. Yeah. Let's I mean, I think. Legs. Yeah, it is probably the film me and you quote the most. Uh, that and I'm kicking my own ass. <laughs> yeah, but that is, it's only that one line you really quote from Liar Liar. True. Whereas. We quote more lines. Yeah, Ace Ventura 2's got so many good quotable lines. Like, pretty much any time you pass someone to something, it's like, take this, I don't like it anymore, really. <laughs> then fucking bowl, uh, bowls that he gets as well. Oh, guano bowls. <laughs> guano, guano bowls! Collect the holes there? <laughs> Chicago. <laughs> Chicago. 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 I'm throwing body pieces down the hall. Go get them. Okay. Get them on yeah, the hall. good film. Who picked that? Was that you? Me. Yeah, that's good. Amazing. Have you have you seen it, Jade? Yes, I have seen all of them because I do love Jim Carrey. <laughs> I think that, there was a period when I quite liked Jim Carrey, and then he did some slightly not so good films, and I went off and looked at. But that yeah. again, again, I think that was him at his best. You know, I don't think it he was gets any funnier than Ace Ventura. He was really funny in those, which is the reason why it's on mine. For comedic value, that is a great film. It is. It is a fantastic film. These fucking buckets, Jed. There's so many. Some of them are filthy, Sharon. Don't be true. <laughs> And that explains the abrasion on your palm. Quick, the switch on the wall behind you. <laughs> now, okay, well now. <laughs> Already then, shall we go to jail? Like a glove. Like a glove. <laughs> oh, God. I've got listening. my hands out to strangle you, Jade. <laughs> I didn't do it. Really did. I glagged. <laughs> glagged. I glagged. <laughs> she glagged, Flo. She glagged all I over glagged. the place. I glagged everywhere. Right, we're not having any more buckets, hey, uh, so you've got to sort these buckets out. Trade. No! How do you like your steak? Um, Medium. There you go. 
you didn't cook it long enough. No! <laughs> You're rubbish! Fire! <laughs> I didn't know that uh, cooking was on the goddamn prospectus for this job. I didn't know the Shikakas were biters! Yeah, <laughs> not the Shikakas, um, what they called? They were choo choos! Uh, your, your turn, by the way. They were choo choo tribe. Just clean my shoes. You've got, you've got blood it's your everywhere! Turn. I know, it's my turn. Uh, I'll just put this body in. <laughs> Nothing happened, it's fine. Just put that body in there. Uh, <laughs> next film. Okay, we will go with Battle Royale. Sort that fuck out. Battle Royale, that was good. Yes, Battle Royale. Another Japanese film. Didn't care Which again, much for the English version. Yeah, you'll have you, subtitles all the way. Um, it's fucking fantastic. It wasn't. It wasn't particularly original because that sort of thing had been done before. There was a film about like people who went to jail and had collars that were attached to each other that would explode. Um, so the idea itself was nothing particularly new, uh, and it's been done to death since as well. But it's about a film where why can I oh because my mom's dirty. Wow. Yeah. Um, it's a film about like these kids that basically have to all kill each other or they'll all die anyway. Um, so they sort of get pitted against each other. A bit like Running Man. Oh wait, I've seen that! Yeah. And it was, I, I believe what the made English it, one's called Hunger Games. Yeah. What made it so good, <laughs> right? What made it so good is that it, it doesn't really age as a film. Because it's Japanese and like we're not Japanese so we don't have that frame of reference that like, a Japanese person watching it would have. So it's hard to like pin a year on it, or say you know when, particularly when it's set. It's just sort of set in you know near future Japan, I guess. <laughs> Some wiggly giblets everywhere now. I yeah, know. And because of that, it's sort of it, it's it's always relevant. You know, each each generation can enjoy it again. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's not a film that will ever become a film where people go, oh no, that's crap now, because it's it's really aged. Unlike, like, say, Johnny Mnemonic, which I was showing you the other day, where it's like, it now looks utterly ridiculous, because, you know, the guy's got he like a, a 10, gig, 10 gig flash drive in his head or something. It's like, you know, what the yeah. fuck? He's got two scenes for him. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I so yeah, I think, I think Battle Royale is, is pretty timeless, really. These fucking mops are useless. Um, sometimes you don't notice the alien blood on them. So then you end up spreading the alien? Yeah, that's what I was saying just then. My my mop was dirty and it looked clean. Yeah. We need more lamps down here. Who's in charge of lamps? Uh, I'm in charge of buckets. I'm in charge of burning things. Wow. I'm, I'm okay. Head chef. Well, I guess I'll go get a lamp uh, then. I, I, I'm in charge of lunch. <laughs> so, JD, get, get lamps all up in this bitch. Um, what else? Oh yeah, it's uh, Jay's turn now, isn't it? Oh! Is it? I did not say. Is it? That shall not say, is it? In it. Was it in it? Oh, no, it might be, is it? Wait, I'm trying to get was, my phone to actually work. Uh, oh yeah, it's, 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 it's uh, thou shall not express your surprise that Sharon not. got off with the yeah. guy at the club last night by saying, is it? Yeah. yeah. Good song, that. Um, um, go for it, Jade. The Mist. The Mist? Yes. I've never heard of The Mist. I, I love The Mist. It has, it's a book. Punch me. Oh my god. <laughs> it's based off of a book, but the ending is completely different. That The author even said he wished he thought up the idea. Because the ending is such a mess of mist that literally you sit there going, wow. That ending is just so, so sad. Without giving away the ending for people who haven't seen it, um, what yeah. can you tell us about the actual plot of the book? Like, what, what's the deal? Well, basically, it's mostly centered around this man and his child, and they go off to go shopping one day, like any normal day. So they've left their mother at home and all this stuff. But yeah. all of a sudden, this mist kind of appears, as it says in the name. And <laughs> um, it, uh, it kind of you can't see anything so there are thousands of people not thousands quite a lot though are trapped in this uh, shop together as this mist and then like they don't know what's outside of that mist but apparently uh some science went really wrong <laughs> <a> portal <laughs> some, some science <laughs> some went wrong 
some science said wrong and a portal opened up so these creatures come out so if you ever go into the mist because one guy goes out there uh he basically gets eaten what the fuck <laughs> i don't know what happened i picked up a box and he flung me over there it's really <laughs> good it's, it's it's actually quite scary who's it's in some it of it's you know it's funny uh, um, it sounds very much like a movie i've that, seen really bad with names yeah, I don't think Me I've seen it. My, I've watched it twice. Uh, oh, I've seen it. I, I've, I've not seen that one, but I've seen something similar. It made me think of the, the faculty. Do you remember the faculty? No, but I watched one where they were like trapped in a uh, garage and this massive mist came. And basically yeah, they could barely go outside. Yeah, that's the garage. The, uh, <laughs> that's the garage. <laughs> well, it, turns, it, turns the out, mist. it turns out outside is like, you know, death, basically. And they're all Whoa! Is that where the people are trapped there? Like they're in a car crash. Don't use this. No, it's not. A I think it plane. is. Yeah. Is it the one where and then they die in the ways they would have died in the car crash? No, no, that's a different one. When death stalking. I know what that is. Yeah. Oh god, I can't remember what that's called. We watch so many called. shit horror films. I can't. Um, they all blur into one. Try and burn the buckets as well. <laughs> it wasn't wrong turn. But it's, uh, I think it was something similar. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> a bullet at a time, Yaren. <laughs> Fucking, oh my god. I can see why they're firing you next week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to go ahead and sort of downsize your department. We heard you've been carrying one shell casing to the fire. <sighs> I, I put the right yeah. cover sheets on my um, fire burning report, Blarius. I, th I think, right. um, I really, really think you should see the mist. I think you'd like it. I, I really enjoyed it. I've seen it twice. Sharon, read this. It it's, sounds pretty it's good, really actually. It's really funny. I'll have, to, uh, I'll have to see if I can get hold of it. Keel over, marine tank workman. It's always the same, cleaning up sea creature turds all goddamn day <laughs> long. Some are slimy and sticky, others are slimy and chunky, and some are just plain nasty. <laughs> Nasty. <laughs> I had so much hope when I signed up for that damn space work recruitment program. See space, they said. Be like a man, they said. Hell, I'd done anything to get off Earth, but I never imagined this would be an option. How did my life come to this? And would that goddamn monster stop banging on the hull? Shut up! <laughs> I can't believe that was still going. I thought you were literally, like, making that up as you went. <laughs> oh, that was the whole note. I just read Holy it. shit. <laughs> I just remember yeah. the first bit about turds. <laughs> <laughs> Cleaning up turds. secret turds. <laughs> I'm hilarious, not like turds. It was the funniest part of that note. <laughs> okay, I think this back area is pretty much clean of blood and shite. I just almost sneezed, but managed to stop it. <laughs> almost um, sneezed. Wait, that was Jade's one at the mist, so now it's mine. Shit. For yeah, the mist. I'll have, to, I'll have to check that one out. I think you enjoy it. I love it so much. Yu-Gi-Oh! The Abridged Movie. Wow! <laughs> wow! Excuse well, me, that's... Jade, it's got your favourite song in it, so you know for well you love well, it. Well, okay, <laughs> there is that's, one of my favourite songs. fair enough, it is you, a movie. You know, you know that Sharon fucking loves it. I do quite like it. You like the Mandark voice. <laughs> The man <laughs> voice. Well, Dagonist! Is, um... <laughs> is it the Desu Desu one? Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Desu Desu, bitches! Yeah, I do like that. That's that's really good. The song in that is really good as well, the power yeah. song. That's uh, uh, Jade's favourite song. So yeah, let's quickly abridge series for people who don't know what it is. It is a guy called Little Karibo who was embarrassed his parents didn't listen to Vivo. He started making videos and everyone was like, whoa, you're a visionary. Uh, and if you want to learn more, go watch his brilliant parody of Without Yugi. Yeah. So he's, case, he's, he says everything that was there, I hate you. He's a voice actor. Pretty much. Yeah. Um, does he, I think he writes it as well, though, doesn't he? So I could, you could argue he's a writer as well. When he first started, he did. Um, and the Yu Gi Oh! Bridge series is literally like the Yu Gi Oh! cartoon show, okay, but edited and redubbed with his voices for all the characters. <laughs> um, what is wrong with you? All? With, a, with a comedy sort of twist to the plot and characters. It's fucking hilarious. It is so absolutely amazing. I love you, Girl Bridged. Yeah, and then, so the movie is obviously just a feature length thing that he did. Do you remember Kyber on his fucking bike in that episode? Based on the movie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There was, ne <laughs> there was a moment in an episode where, and for those of you who have seen it, there's a scene where Seto Kyber is, um, he comes out on his motorcycle. There's some sort of, tr evil Tristan turns up, basically. 
Um, <laughs> Neville Tristan. And no one notices he's evil, okay? And then, like, the set of Kaibo gets on a motorcycle and drives off into the distance, like, singing a rock tune. And then literally just out of nowhere, two seconds later, the bike just explodes and he just jumps off and lands. Yeah. He's perfectly fine. And then he just goes, fuck it. So the guy, <laughs> it is amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> Is and that again, because I think, card games on motorcycles? Yeah, card games and motorcycles is from uh, the bridge uh, movie. It's just again lots of good quotable lines. It's good quotable comedy. <laughs> the ocean and I are getting married. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> is that not right, ocean? The ocean says yes. <laughs> that ocean. Yeah, that's pretty good. Do you just throw a harpoon at me? Who yeah. does that? And it's, throws a harpoon. it's full of pop culture references as well. So if you like that sort of thing, it's it definitely appeals to you. It is fantastic. There's only a few amount of episodes, though, considering uh, other Bridge series. Is. So if yeah. you want to think of getting into it, now is the time. It's pretty solid entertainment, though. If you st if you start from the beginning of the series, it's like the audio's a bit crap, and it's a bit... It's not as good, but it gets better quickly. That's the thing, because he, he obviously, when he started, it was his first time doing anything like that. But it was funny, and people back then, yeah. you know, he they rapidly improved YouTube the people. quality of the content, and it was just incredible. Well, back then as well, people followed YouTube that was funny. Yeah. All these screaming people that scream about YouTubes. Yeah. I, oh, yeah that was a good pick, though. Yeah. <laughs> Did you just okay. knock out our bucket? I've done a Sharon. Who, whose go is it? You. And Bells. I've done a Sharon. What, what Isn't it done? Bells? No, I did Yu-Gi-Oh! Right, Bridge! Sharon, yeah. KO! KO! Admit my defeat! Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge! No, oh, I mean, I knocked over a Sharon. bucket. What? I knocked over a bucket by right-clicking. That's right a Jade, clicking. not a Sharon. No, by right-clicking. I can't I went to a bucket. Ow! You just shut my head in the oven, Glarious. I can't hilarious. grab the bullet! <laughs> Jade. The Fucking I Jade. Can't <laughs> Why did you two both pick green? This is so confusing. I'm green and black. I chose green because it's Your my favourite colour. I chose green and black because it's your favourite colours. <laughs> I chose black and teal. People can't see me, but I'm literally... I am a black shirt with teal overall, so it's like... What the fuck? I chose green because it's my favourite colour and it's my name, so I'm allowed to. I have rights. Okay, I yeah, that's it. fair dues, actually. I chose it because it's Sharon's favourite colour and he makes the YouTube and I wanted to seem like the second best employee on this ship. Wow. And he is the senior management. Okay. My name is one of his favourite colours, so you're, you're I You're promoted win. and Jade, you're fired. I'm afraid. I'm it's afraid it's only one of his favourite. You just if you can just hand in your mop, Jade. And no. Jade. Your squeegees. No. No. <laughs> Hang in your squeegees. Yeah, we need your squeegees back, and your mops <laughs> and your wipes and your gloves and, uh, and your, your beanie machine, <laughs> your boots, your overalls, <laughs> your helmet, the beepy boots, uh, your beepy thing. My wives. <laughs> your beepy thing. Your wives. Let's. Uh, your yeah, titanium exactly legs. What I just said. Titanium legs are company yep. issue. No, no, they're mine. I have got titanium legs. They're not yours. I know. They're company uh, issue. No. <laughs> we gave them to you when you started working. No. Here. No. They're, they're official Dirt Force issue titanium legs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they have the Dirt no, Force logo on the back of them. On them. <laughs> <laughs> no, friend, we just called the company no, that's JD Tech. L and R, and it's not Lade Williams. It's left and right. It is totally. Don't lie. <laughs> Lade Williams. <laughs> Lade Williams. <laughs> it's her Chinese sister. Oh, it's my Chinese sister. 